Hey folks and welcome back. In this video I'd like to go ahead and start talking about MIDI nodes. Now there might be a couple of you out there that are wondering, well, what is a MIDI node? And I'll tell you. To quote from the manual, MIDI nodes are combinations of articulations with no restrictions over the instruments or articulations that compose them called members. In fact, you can even incorporate MIDI nodes within other MIDI nodes for fairly involved triggering schemes. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty impressive to me. And you know what? It's a pretty big deal, and I'll tell you why. Because by utilizing MIDI nodes, you're going to have the ability to stack instruments on top of one another to create a whole new sound. You can also combine studio microphones from other studio microphones to create a whole new studio, so to speak, just to name a couple. In order to get to the MIDI nodes section, all you have to do is come up here and click on the MIDI nodes tab, which is right beside the instrument tab, and boom, there you are. Now I'll give you a quick geography lesson and then we're going to jump right into creating a few MIDI nodes, okay? Right here you have a note display which will tell you the note that is associated with the MIDI node you create. You have a delete button which will delete the MIDI node that you have selected. A learn button which will learn whatever incoming MIDI message you want to apply to that MIDI node. You have a minus button that will remove a MIDI node, a plus button to add a MIDI node. You have a rename option, which is really good for people like me, especially if you create more than two or three and you start forgetting the names of them. You have a duplicate button, which, as the name implies, will duplicate a MIDI node. And underneath this section here, you'll see a members window. This is where all of the articulations associated with a selected MIDI node will show up. Here is a minus button that you can use to remove a selected articulation or member. And here is a select all button to select all of the articulations or members in that window. And underneath the member section, you'll find the member velocity control section. Now, make no mistake about it. This is more or less identical to the velocity control section found in the instrument tab, with the main difference being that you have the option to bypass a target's control. And I'll cover that in a little bit. But for now, why don't we just go ahead and look at a few different ways to create a MIDI node. For starters, you can go ahead and hit a plus button, and that will create a MIDI node 1. Now, as you can see, there's no note associated with it because we haven't taught Superior where we want this MIDI node to be. So, let's go ahead and click and drag. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and put this on D1. And then we're going to get an alert window that says, hey, dude. This key has already been assigned to snare center. Now you can replace it or join it, but it's up to you. So we are going to replace it. Boom. Now there is nothing associated with D1, as you can see in here. So now it's time for us to decide what articulations or members we want to combine to create MIDI node 1. And since this is an example, I just want to go ahead and do something outlandish. Let's go ahead and grab uh, the China right over here on the left hand side. Now, in order to see the articulations associated with a kit piece, all we have to do is right click or control click on that kit piece. In this case, I think I want to utilize the mute, and you can preview the articulation by left clicking. Just like that. I want to go ahead and click and hold the mute articulation, and I'm going to drag it to the member section and drop it. Now, we'll see we have a member of symbol one mute. Once again, we can preview that sound by left clicking. Sounds pretty good to me. So now what else do I want to put on there? Well, let's go ahead and grab something from the snare drum. So I'm a right click or control click on that kit piece to see all of the articulations associated with it. Now I know I don't want a center hit. So let's go ahead and look for uh, something else here. You know what? Let's go ahead and do the side stick. I like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and click and drag it down to D1. And I'm only doing it like this just to illustrate that you do have more than one way to add a member. So let's go ahead and drag it down to D1. And it's gonna say, hey, this key is already assigned to MIDI node one. You can replace it or join it. Let's go ahead and join it. And so now we'll see that with MIDI node one, we now have a snare side stick and a muted China. Again, you can left click the individual members to hear their sound, or you can left click the MIDI node to see how those members will sound combined. Now, if you want to get rid of this articulation list, all you have to do is right click or control click in an empty space and you'll be fine. 
So now that we've got that taken care of, we're ready to start rocking and rolling, right? Well, yeah, almost. Let's go ahead and check it out on our handy dandy slide bar and see how it sounds. Oh, wait a second. That doesn't sound like a muted symbol to me. What? What's? What's the problem? What? Oh, there's the muted symbol, but it looks like it only happens at the higher velocity. So, what do we do? Well, we can come up here and select the muted symbol by right-clicking, and then we want to make sure that our member velocity control section is actually engaged. And now what we can do is go ahead and pull these handles all the way up so that every hit acts as a velocity of 127, because I want that muted effect. There we go. Awesome. But now I can't hear the side stick at the lower velocity. Now, so let's go ahead and select the side stick. And now, this is not a volume control, you know? This is just going to affect the velocity. But I want to be able to hear that side stick the entire time, so I'm gonna bring the velocity up. You understand? Let's see here. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's cool. So that sounds good to me. Now I can start, you know. I can start rocking and rolling. So that gives you an idea of how to create a MIDI node. Now I'm gonna go ahead and end this video cause I don't want to get too long, but I want you to stick with me because in the next video, I'm gonna show you yet another way to create a MIDI node. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in a minute. Bye-bye.